Hello guys, Brad on YouTube, and I wanted to do a video response to the Snook 12's 100 subscription giveaway. So congratulations, Snook. Um, and uh, if you didn't know, he was giving away a bottle of a fragrance called Rhubarb. And I find Rhubarb to be a very interesting note for a fragrance because I used to love, and I still do love, um, the taste of Rhubarb. My uh, mom used to make Rhubarb desserts when I was a kid, um, and every now and then, you know, my brother will give me some rhubarb, and maybe if I'm in the mood, I'll try to make some of my own. So it's a very um, interesting um, dessert. If you haven't tried rhubarb, um, you might want to check it out. It tastes really good, uh, especially if you mix it with some strawberries or something like that. Kind of sweeten it up a little bit. Um, anyway, as far as my choice for a signature scent very difficult question as uh, i'm sure most of you reviewers out there will agree you don't want to just uh you know choose one fragrance for all year round because each season pretty much uh brings with it a fresh perspective with different fragrances and everything but uh the one i chose is one that i've enjoyed for quite some time now and it's actually pretty cheap it doesn't get a lot of love in the fragrance community a lot of people haven't even tried it yet the ones that have, for some reason, a lot of them don't seem to like it. And it's uh, one that I've talked about quite a bit before. Paul Smith Extreme. And uh, I don't even own a bottle of this one. I just have a bunch of samples. But, you know, since I don't really, you know, subscribe to that whole, you know, signature scent mentality, you know, that's all I really need is just a couple samples. I haven't actually even worn it as a fragrance for a long time, but... I think this one is a great one for a year-round fragrance because it does have plenty of citrus in there, I think, to uh, work in the summer, spring, fall. And then when it gets colder, I think the woods and the spice really come through as well. So this is one I'm going to choose, I think, for my choice. Um, I'm sure not too many other people would choose it as theirs. I know uh, the British actor Jude Law at one point had this as his signature scent and um, I can see why it has a very I consider it to be a, a pretty elegant sophisticated smell um, it does kind of have like a British elegance to it I think um, and when I did my review of Burberry Brit I think I made the same sort of uh, comment about Burberry Brit it just kind of it for some for some reason the spiciness of it or whatever just kind of makes me think you know of, just a very refined British actor. I think Judy Law is actually would be a good poster child for this fragrance. Um, even though I don't think he ever actually um, was chosen for that campaign or anything. I'm not sure if there ever was anybody chosen of any significance. Uh, but uh, yeah, for me, I think Paul Smith Extreme is the one that I'm going to pick as my signature choice because of that. I like it. Um, just uh, very unique, and I find it quite enjoyable. I haven't gotten sick of it yet. So uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and uh, congratulations again there, Snook. And uh, thanks for watching.